Okay, today we're going to try and make some ferrofluid. Ferrofluid is a viscous liquid that has iron oxide particles in it, and you can attract it with a magnet, so you're going to want to get a magnet. This is a really good one. I got, I think I got this on Amazon and I'll link in the description below to uh, this magnet. You're also gonna need some iron oxide particles. Again, I will link below where I got these from Amazon, of course. You're gonna want a beaker to mix it up in. You're gonna want some, some kind of oil. Uh, I think any kind of oil might work, but I'm gonna try this with canola oil and just see how well it works. I've also got some distilled water. You can use tap water, but I've got distilled water lying around. And you're going to want some kind of glass container to put it in. I think glass containers will hold up nicely with the magnet on the side. You definitely don't want to put this in like a, a Ziploc bag or anything. Because when you try and pull the magnet off, you're probably going to tear the bag. And this stuff will make an absolute mess. So you can see I'm working on like a whole bunch of paper towels on a lab table in my classroom so that I don't make a mess at home. Because if this gets in your clothes or carpet or anything, forget it, you're not getting it out. Uh, even getting it off your hands can be a pain in the neck sometimes. So I don't really have any directions on how to do this. So I'm just gonna pour an amount in I think I want. So let's pour some oil in here. Just see how this works. So I'm thinking that might be a good amount to play with with the magnet. And then we're gonna add some iron oxide particles in. Now we wanna make sure it's dark but we don't want to make it too thick. We don't want to have too high of a viscosity because then it might not swirl around that easily in the water when we, we mix them together. And when we mix them together, the oil and the water won't mix because water is polar and oil is nonpolar. So polar and nonpolar liquids don't mix well together. And the oil will coat the iron and keep it from getting rusty. So you should be able to leave this in the water in a bottle for a good long time. So I just mixed that, that amount in there and you can see it's still really, really runny. You can tell these particles like to cling to the glass. So that gives me a little bit of concern. So let's just take a look. I'll put this down on my paper towel, put a magnet on it, see what happens. You can see it like attracts to the magnet, but it's not making little spikes like I want. So you can see like a little bit of the spikiness maybe over there, but I need, I need some more particles in there. So let's take another little scoop full of this and add it in there and mix that in. Ferrofluid. So we'll mix that up. Put that back on the paper towel. Put a magnet on it. So not spiky yet, but definitely like attracted in there. You can, you can see that when I put the magnet on it. So let's put a little bit more in. Probably should have done measured amounts then I could actually give you guys measurements, but that would interfere with me just winging it. All right, let's try this now. Maybe this will be good. Okay. Mix that in there. All right. Now let's have a look here. All right, so we got it like, looks like a ball when I put the magnet on the bottom. You can see the magnet is actually just stuck there on there. So it looks like a liquid. And when I put the magnet on it, it all kind of attracts there. So let's put this in the bottle and just see what it looks like when we mix it together. Pour this in. And then some of the thicker stuff that's in the bottom, I'm gonna get with a spatula. Hang on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Let's get these particles out here. Put that in there. We're just gonna use a spatula to coax some of that stuff down. Put that all in there. All right. Okay. I'm getting it on my fingers a little bit. I'll hit that with a scotch brake pad. All right, let's see what this looks like. Magnet on it. I 
flows down the glass, still coming down the glass, so it's not going to totally cling to it and coat the whole thing there. It is going to move around. That's not bad. All right, let's add some water to it and see how it looks. All right, so we got water in there. Look at all the particles floating around. Watch when I put a magnet on it. Boom. <laughs> they all attract to it. Hey, not bad. Spiking up a bit on the bottom there, if you can see that. Let me try and turn it. <laughs> Ooh, that was kind of cool. Oh, there must be a bubble in there. I'm trying to get to the top. Look at that, the blob of oil. Get back down there. Kind of fun. Get that over there. That's good, it's not clinging to the, uh, to the sides. So I'm actually gonna top that off with water and then seal it and then we'll see how good it looks. So put some more water in here. Look at those little bubbles. A little bit more. Near the top. There we go. And we're gonna put the iced tea cap on. It'll be better, not the water cap. Put it on there like that. And then we put the magnet on there. Look at all the particles going towards it. And then the bottom, they leap up. It looks like that Venom symbiote. Look at that, you can turn it and get it to like, get the particles to flip around as they're lining up with the, the magnetic field there. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Kind of fun, kind of fun thing to do. Hey, if any of you try this and you, you get a good ratio of oil and iron together, and you want to share it with the group, that would be great. But look at that. <laughs> Just kind of goes towards it. Let's see if we shake it up one time. Just like give it, really like bubbleize it like that. And then boom. Fun, 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 fun. All right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Have a good rest of your day.